Hi guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. As some of you might know, chest dysphoria is very prevalent in the trans community, especially amongst trans boys and some non-binary people. Side note for anyone who might not know, dysphoria is a feeling of intense discomfort that can be applied to a part of your body or multiple parts of your body. A lot of trans people experience dysphoria with multiple parts of their body. That's why transitioning helps because it helps us to change the parts of our bodies that make us uncomfortable and then we can like ourselves a whole lot more. As a trans person that suffers from pretty bad chest dysphoria, I have been binding for about four years now. I'll show you guys my binder. You guys have seen it a million times. I've worn it in videos, but this is what it looks like. So it's uh, a vest and basically about half of it down to about here has this compression material inside and basically just flattens down my chest, gives me the appearance of a more masculine looking chest, which is great. But something I have been experimenting with in the past year or so is KT tape. Got a very festive blue one to show you guys today. <laughs> KT tape is essentially, usually I think used for sports related things. It's very strong and very adhesive and doesn't really budge. But as I found out about a year ago, it is also sometimes used by trans masculine people to bind. I'm quite lucky I have quite a small chest, so I figured I would give it a go and see if it worked. Because while I do love my binder, it gets quite tedious sometimes having to wear a whole other layer of clothing under your clothes. I kind of just wanted to do a really quick pros and cons list because I have had people ask me about the KT tape and what it's like to wear. Pros of wearing a binder, it's pretty comfy. It doesn't actually get too achy if you wear it for you know, the appropriate amounts of time and don't sleep in it because I have made that mistake before and that does hurt, so don't sleep in it. It's pretty discreet as well. It doesn't necessarily look very transy. I wear it occasionally just under my shirts with the shirt unbuttoned, it just looks like a vest. You can even get ones that are tri-top binders that essentially look like this. So it's just a half binder, so you don't even have the vest at the bottom, so it's even more discreet that way. Cons of binding with a binder is they are quite expensive, so getting a hold of them in the first place might be a bit difficult because they're not really sold in loads of places, and the places that do do them charge quite a bit for them. Although there is a new UK binder company called Spectrum Outfitters. Pop over to Jake Edwards' channel, actually, because he did a video about them about three weeks ago, and they're apparently going to be quite affordable and quite easy to get a hold of, so definitely check them out. A big con of of a binder is in summer. It's so fucking hot. You don't understand the pain of when you're out and you just have that binder sweat and it's just stuck to your back. And like, you don't want to take it off because dysphoria, but your body is also screaming because you're freaking roasting. And then in the winter, you put it on and it's like putting on an ice pack because it gets really freaking cold. There's like no in between with a binder. It's either boiling or freezing. And then there is the whole thing of not being able to sleep in it. So it's kind of like you get to the end of the day, you've had an amazing flat chest and then you have to take your binder off and it's kind of a real buzzkill. I will say that I'm so genuinely grateful for my binder, the things it has done for me. It's like been four years of dysphoria that it's helped me alleviate. If I hadn't had this for four years, I don't think I would have even wanted to leave the house because genuinely it's one of those things where I put it on and I feel safe and I feel secure. Anyway, this is getting deep, so let's continue. So yeah, those were kind of my biggest pros and cons of a binder. I would definitely recommend them, they are brilliant. I'm just gonna compare it to the tape because this is a really interesting way to bind. So first of all, they're in these fun colors. I have pink, black, blue, and like a peach color. The first massive pro of this tape is that it only covers your chest. So there's no need for an extra layer of clothes. I just put this on and then just put on a t-shirt and it's incredible. Like the first time I put it on, that feeling of just feeling cloth, like material on my chest on a night out was incredible. I'd never felt that before. There was always the binder and then my shirt, but I had literally a shirt and then this. And I unbuttoned it all the way down to like down here and it just looks flat because the tape obviously pushes everything and, and flattens it. And so all you could see was like my decolletage bit here. And it was just, I was just overwhelmed, honestly. I just wanted to take my shirt off and just walk around with just the tape on. But I didn't feel like other people would appreciate that as much as I would. <laughs> it's very breathable. It's really easy to put on. But there is obviously a downside to everything. And I will say the biggest con of this tape actually is that you do have to kind of accept that it is a tape and it's not like plaster tape. It's a lot more coarse and I have come to notice that if you leave it on for a long amount of time, especially if you sleep in it, it does rub your skin and then does sometimes create blisters 
which can lead to some scarring. I now have some scarring like down here, down my back and a little bit here on my chest from where I've slept in it, which is a little bit annoying and obviously not ideal. And I did have a lot of people warn me, which I really appreciated, but it's one of those things where you have to take it with a pinch of salt. Everything has pros and cons. It's kind of do the pros outweigh the cons or vice versa. So for me, the pros of this outweighs the cons because of the intense feeling of freedom it gives me. The message I just want to give out with this video is binding and taping both have their cons. I will say that with the taping it's slightly bigger downside in that you can get some skin scarring. So this isn't me advocating for people to go and put it on because I don't want you guys to injure yourselves. But I'm just giving you the information so that you have it and so that you're aware. Like I said the binders are available on binder websites. There's GC2B, there's Underworks. There is this new one, which is Spectrum. You can also get them on Amazon and other websites, I think, but you just have to do some research. KT tape is available like all over the place. I got mine off Amazon for like a tenner, but I think you can get it in places like Superdrug and like sports stores. So again, just look around for that if that's something you're interested in. I hope this video was somewhat educational or helpful for some of you. Above all else, please be safe with your binding, whichever way you choose to do it. And never, please never use ace bandages. I know there's this annoying, annoying theme of movies and TV shows promoting the use of ace bandages for trans people, but don't do that. It's very unsafe. They are not designed for binding or to be wrapped around somebody's body, especially their chest. Please do not do that. If you're gonna bind, do it safely, do your research, look into other ways. There are other different kinds of binders as well. Obviously this one isn't the only kind. I hope you guys are having a good day, evening, night, wherever you are, and I'll see you soon. Bye.